Hello, this is Edward from Direct Fabrics. I wanted to record a video upon request of uh, people constantly asking us uh, questions about wave curtains, how to measure, how to fit, and I'm going to try and break this down and make it as simple as possible. Uh, on this example, we've got the blackout uh, unlined curtains on a wave heading, and as you can see, they're draping absolutely beautifully. Um, the pleats are set well, and everything looks great. The track itself is a Metropole um, pillar brackets there, and that's um, a design-led pole, but which is very robust and sturdy. So what is a wave curtain? Firstly, a wave curtain is a fixed um, glided um, curtain, which is uh, forces the pleats to be equidistant, so you get this beautiful wave. Now, if I unhook the leading edge of this curtain, you can see that the glider has what like an ISO fix it's fixed in by a piece of cord which means that the pleat stays in a position so if I re-put that one back in and then I pull the pleat through again there you go it's all fixed so all you're doing when you're installing these is just pushing them in or pulling them out effectively to set the pleat and that is how a wave works the next main question we get is how do I calculate the amount of gliders that are going to be on a wave curtain track? So a wave needs to obviously have more fabric than the width of the track so it can have the pleats. This is about 2.3 times the track length. This is based on how many gliders are going to be in that curtain. So this particular track is 3 meters in length. So you do 3 meters divided by eight which is effectively 80 mil now 300 divided by eight is 38 but we need to split the number of gliders evenly to each side so if it was 38 it'd be 19 you need an even number of gliders so that would round up to 40 gliders in total and 20 each side that would allow for the perfect pleating which you see here the next question is how do i measure for wave gliders. And this is quite straightforward. I always recommend to clients or whether we're doing the installation, you should ideally fit the track first. And that means that you can take your tape measure and you can rest it up to this point here under the glider, uh, under the, the track, and then measure down. And that gives you a nice clear length for the track to be. And if we measure from here, this is the underside to the desired length. In this in instance, 10 centimeters below, you're going to get a nice coverage and you get a well-dressed finish to the window. Um, if you were ceiling mounting, again, you're gonna fit the track and measure from the underside of the track, always from the underside because there's no space. If we look at that there, the curtain just sits perfectly underneath. And again, if we look at the how the heading works, it's just a simple tape that clicks in back into the glider. So again, you have to measure from the underside of the track. So if we're now looking, if there was a track at the, on the ceiling and it was a standard track, which I can show you in a moment, I'll cut to another uh, product, you'll be able to see uh, that you take a reduction. So if the floor to ceiling measurement was 300 centimeters, for instance, you would reduce that by the depth of the track, which would be say three centimeters. If you're measuring to the floor and you want a floor length finish, I'm just gonna cut and move to another window. A floor length finish, you're going to take a one centimeter reduction off. So these curtains are just going to gracefully touch the bottom of the of the floor or just slightly above and that gives you that lovely flowing wave feel to the window the next question that we get is how far past the window should the wave track extend to allow for this finish of it just being in line with the recess so if we push this back this particular curtain is just sat absolutely perfectly as you'd expect, of course, because we've installed this. So the um, measurement that you want to work on is for every one meter of track, you're going to use 18 centimeters past the window. And you could add on a very slight bit more if you're unsure. 
even if this curtain is slightly over the window in this position, and that was the, and they were bunched up in there, it would still be an excellent finish and would still look fantastic. But if you're wanting that hotel finish and a perfect lined curtain, then dress your curtains to the edge of the recess. So it's 18 centimeters. In this example, it's a three meter track. So you're going to go past by uh, one and a half meters is half. So it's gonna be 18, it's gonna be 27 centimeters past each side having to do mental arithmetic there. Um, but yeah, that's how you get the perfect finish. Installation wise, all depends on the brackets. And again, I find it much easier to ceiling mount these products because then you're just reducing by the depth of the track. If you're wall mounting, you still have flexibility, but again, allow yourself some tolerance by going slightly below, not windowsill level. This gives you a little bit um, of adjustment and play uh, rather than having to be 100% perfect. If you found this video helpful, then please um, like the, the video. And also, if you have any questions, please get in touch. We can always add more information.